Hello everybody, and welcome to Tosser Show. Today we're going to play Final Fantasy, the first entry, as the Pixel Remastered version. A version that came out not that long ago, for those who actually see the, see the latest news. Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remastered is supposed to come out on the 24th or the 26th of February, which is a couple of days from now. I did this video in February 12th, 2022, and I'm extremely excited to play this version because we tried to make the original game, but with a design that is a little bit more closer to the original game. And that's why I'm curious to see how it looks like. I did play Final Fantasy on multiple versions. I played the Origins version at the time. I never finished it. But I also played uh, the version that is on Windows Phone, which most likely would look like what uh, this one may have been if it was before the <laughs> Pixel Remaster. Now, one thing that's interesting is that on the options, there were not that many options as you can see. They're pretty straightforward. Oh, you can have a language settings, interesting. And, okay, there is like a music player as an extra, a gallery. So there is a little bit of special stuff. Titled Splash, Titled Splash in 1987. So there are some little stuff that I offer for free in this version, but compared to the version that I did play on Windows Phone and that I finished, this one, this Final Fantasy, will not have all the extras that were done on the GBA edition. Because the Game Boy Advance edition, Dawn of Souls or something like that, added a bunch of extras like new dungeons and stuff like that that will not be there. This one is really following the original NES game. So what we're gonna do is that I do love to have a white and black mage. I do have, I do love to also have a warrior. I'm gonna name warrior Toss. Uh, instead of a thief, of a, of a thief, of a thief, we actually gotta put the red mage. So let's put the red mage here. And here's the names I'm gonna use. Everything that is kind of like Toss, but I change just one letter. So we're gonna have a warrior named Toss, a red match named Sat, a white match named Tass, and a black match named Sat. And you can see that as soon as the beginning, you can select your, two, your four characters that's gonna play with you all the way through the end. In that first Final Fantasy, you can see there's a total of six class warrior that can use a wide array of weapons and armor, as we say below. Thief, who nimbly runs circles around opponents. They can go faster than anybody else. Monk, that specializes in bare-knuckled attacks. Red Mage, who are proficient in both black and white magic. White Mage, that supports the party with white magic. And Black Mage, damage opponents with black magic. So that being said, we stayed pretty long on just the introduction. So let's get started. I'm extremely excited to hear the next theme that's going to pop up when we start. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, we do have an intro. So that intro does not exist on the NES game. For, so that's an extra from this version. Which pretty much is an extra from all the other versions that came out as soon as Final Fantasy Origins. Which was a PlayStation version of Final Fantasy 1. Final Fantasy 1 is interesting because there's a lot of remake of it. There's a remake on Wonder Swan Color, which is a console that you probably don't have because it's only in Japan. There were versions that was done on Game Boy Advance, like I said. There's a version on MSX. MSX has a version of the game, which was the same than the NES game, I assume, at the time, because it came out kind of like at the same time. This version on PlayStation, like I said, with Origins. This version on PSP, 
which is the one that kind of like got converted into the mobile version. And then there's a bunch of the, the mobile version on iOS and Android and Windows Phone, which I think now not to, they will not be available anymore because they were replaced by that Pixel Master uh, remastered one. And you can see the story is pretty straightforward right now. Like there's something wrong happening in the world. And apparently when darkness happens, four wires of light come. At last, we're gonna have a four wires coming up. A crystal. That's how they created the, the notion of crystals on Final Fantasy. Which, when you think about it, the crystal there's not that many of them, ma many Final Fantasies <laughs> that actually really talk about crystals, because I think Final Fantasy 1... Oh my god. Here's some music that I was waiting for. That's the world map. I think they did a great job with this version too. The Origins version is the best, in my opinion. They did such a wonderful version on the Origins version. But this one is really good too. Okay, A to confirm, B to back, or run if you hold it, which is new, because on the original you cannot run. Y to open and close the menu, X to open and close the map, or to turn on auto battle, which is new as well. Move with the analog, also with the other controller. LB to switch party member left, RB to switch party member right. I guess it's in order to see somebody else on the world map and all that, and I'm going to show you that afterwards. LT page up, RT page down, and shoot. Oh, okay, RT controls. And mini map on off and post battle with the start button. I'm playing with the Xbox 360 controller. Da, 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 da. So you see the graphics are pretty much like the original version but more like a Final Fantasy IV <laughs> style. And you can see that there's a world map now. And the character actually can play in diagonal. Interesting. Okay, let's split those goblins. Okay, there's two types of control. Attack, magic items, Stefan Flea. Okay, so you can see that on that Final Fantasy, characters can do one or multiple hits automatically. Here's a fanfare. You can gain apps or gills, as you can see, and apparently I'm gonna level up for everybody because I need only eight apes to level up. Oh, no, it was after. Okay. One of the very few Final Fantasy where you open the menu, you have a music. <laughs> uh, so you can hear the special music that we have for the menu here. And let's see, statues... You have an, oh, okay, we got six experience, so the next level is in eight. Uh, so I guess we the, the divide by four the amount of experience per character, okay? So you can see that you have your usual stats like strength, agility, stamina, intellect, luck, and so forth. It's interesting to see that we went back to the old version of the MPs because on the versions that I played, the MPs were normal MPs, but here the MP depend on the level of the magic. We'll see that a little bit more, I guess, later. So you can see that I can change the characters at working by pressing LT and R uh, LB and RB. That's good that we can do diagonal on this version. It looks really cute. I like it. It still have the design of the original, especially for the white, the white and red mage, and um, sorry, dark uh, black mage. You can definitely look, see it. It's really cute. I'm wondering if they kept the, the secret enemies. Like if you stay on the on the side, you can get enemies from much much later in the game. 
Oh, somebody tried to flee. Oh, but... Anyway, I'm glad that we did not flee. He goes faster than the original. Okay, we all level up. Wow, I multiply by two the HP nearly. Nice. Oops. I will put back the warrior. I'm curious about something. Okay, if you go to the... Oh, you can just switch around the characters. Okay. That menu looks more like a menu like from Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy I, the original Final Fantasy I. Oh, interesting. So you can change the graphic display. I prefer standard. I heard about the... The font being too small or hard to read. For me, it's okay because I have a big screen, a big monitor. Oh, okay. Why am I getting blocked by that person? Da, 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 da. All the music from Final Fantasy 1 are amazing. <laughs> they're, they're just amazing. Nobuo Matsu is, is a genius. Okay, let's talk to that lady first. This is Cornelia, the city of dreams. And now I can run. Wow. Okay, let's see what he wants. The king is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. But the, the, the crystals. You may see the king at once. Oh, it brings me to the king automatically. Da 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 <laughs> Anyway, the king. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? Here's our crystals. It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Chancellor, your majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. Yet, they stand before us with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal bearers, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you rescue my daughter, Sarah? Garland! A knight once in his majesty's service has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Kale Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent of to our north, which, by the way, I don't know if you saw, but there were a bridge that wasn't done, so they need to build the bridge. <laughs> the bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a token of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. All right, well, here's a flight. We're gonna go. And I'm gonna change to the... Okay, the red badge, why not? Chancellor, the dancing girl in town knows many hot bits of information. If you find yourself astray, try talking to her. She may know some things that can put you back on course. Okay, that's all he's gonna say. Working. The warrior of light has come at last. How long we have waited for this day to come? Garland is no longer the man San Holmes knew. I beg of you, please return my daughter to me quickly. I'm actually very curious to see how they uh, create the character of Garland on that new Beat Them All that's kind of like uh, action RPG that's gonna come up. Uh, I think his name is Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins, is that what it is? 
something like that. But we are doing that whole new game <laughs> where you have to beat Garland with a warrior of light and it looks very hype, like the characters look very different, more like Final Fantasy kindish kind of character, kind of like Core as, as a main character. Anyway, let's see. Our report says that Garland fled north with a princess to the Cow Shrine. Alright, let's go on the other side. Oh, there's nobody on the other side. Alright. Let's go down. Castle Cornelia, first floor. The king is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. But with a crystal, could it be? It's interesting that they, they added those um, maps on the top right. That wasn't there before, obviously. Let's see that character. Garland was once the great knight in the kingdom. But power consumed it, consumed him, and he lost sight of who he really was. Let's see what that girl say. Please, please save Lady Sarah. All right. Her Majesty is overcome with grief. She shuts herself inside her chambers. Please try not to upset her. Alright, that's her majesty, that's the queen. I am Jane, queen of Cornelia. Pl please, please bring my daughter, my Sarah, back to me safely. Most of master's music are pretty good too, I have to admit. They're really cool. Nobrema too did the soundtrack, I think, again. Yeah, somebody already said that before. Okay, who is that? My, my sister! I, I want my sister! Okay, here's a trick. You can go here on the side to go to that part of the palace that is in the back. Let's see. Oh, ancestor sealed weapons within this treasure room 400 years ago. They then gave the key to the Hell King to hold until the coming of the Warriors of Light. Okay, so when we're gonna go see the Hell King, we have to come back here to open the door. This door has been secured with a mystic key. Oh, ancestor. Okay, we say the same thing. You will see that Final Fantasy 1 is an interesting game because his story is kind of interesting, to say the least. For those who play DZDR, Final Fantasy, you do recognize that world map up there because that's basically the world of Final Fantasy 1 you're in when you play DZDR as a game. This is Cornelia, the city of dreams. So here we have the inn. So we can go sleep and relax. <laughs> oh, the, the music for the for the shop is so different. It's so much quieter. How much? Please come in. We charge thirty gears per night. Would you like to stay? Not yet. Please come again. Okay, and here must be a tutorial room. Okay, let's talk with the four people. I would be most happy to teach you about equipment. Would you care to listen? Yes. Equipment can be split into two categories, weapons and armor. Equipping a weapon will increase your attack rating. There are four types of armor. Shield, helms, gloves and body armor. Any armor you wear on your body, including armlets, is classified as body armor. Shields are held in one hand, while hems are one on the head. Remember that the weapons and armor you find won't do you any good unless you equip them from the main menu. Select Optimal will optima automatically equip the strongest weapon and armor in your inventory. Alright, let's see what it's gonna say. If you need to know about items, you've certainly come to the right person. As long as you're here, why not here, hey? Yes. 
It never hurts to carry a lot of potions, antidote, and the like of with you. Stocking up on items in advance will help you conserve your magic for the times you need it most. Now let's move on to sleeping bags, tents, and cottage, shall we? These three splendid items allow you to restore your HP and MP. You can only use them outdoors for. In addition to these traditional items, certain pieces of equipment may be used as items as well. The only way to know if a given piece of equipment has a use is to try it out, so experimentation is key. In the course of your travels, you will come across unique items that are known as key items. Some key items have an effect when used in a specific location, like you would see with a mystic key. Alright, next. Would you like to tarry for just a moment to hear about monsters? Yes, there are many types of monsters, and different types have different weaknesses. Finding a monster's weakness will help you gain the upper hand in battle. For example, aquatic monsters are susceptible to lightning. Casting thunder on those monsters will deal particularly heavy damage. Some weapons are, more, are also more effective against certain monsters. Alright, and last. I've known to give quite the lecture on the use of magic. Interested? Yes. There are two schools of magic, black and white. White magic is comprised of healing and defensive spells, while black magic spells are of the offensive variety. Each level of black and white magic contains four distinct spells. However, any given characters can only learn three of the four spells of a particular magic level. You can use the forget command to wipe your memory of any spell you've previously learned. If you want to relearn a spell you've previously, uh, previously forgotten, you can do that too. Try to choose a combination of spells that works well with your fighting styles. So that is what used to be the original version of Final Fantasy 1 and then they changed it on a lot of the remake. Let's take a peek at your reflection in the water. Oh, you filthy! Use this to wash up! <laughs> okay, here's the dancer. Hi there, I'm a dancer. What's that? You wanna dance with me? <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Let's see what he say. Restore the crystals to grace. I think this is Final Fantasy. Okay, what's... It's a well. It looks... You could climb inside, but you can't. Really. I think this Final Fantasy does not have... A system where if you look at every single box or something, you can find some special treasure, you know, some hidden treasure. I don't think this one has that. I think it started with Final Fantasy 3. I don't even think Final Fantasy 2 has it. Welcome! Okay, so pa fa for example, the staff. Are you kidding? The staff gives more power to the characters? No. Why well, it's better to buy a wrap here for. And the hammer. Okay, let's buy one wrap here. Okay, let's do that. Let's equip instead. Yeah, his accuracy goes down far, but his attack goes up. We're gonna do that. Shield, arms, body, head. So actually there is four types. Okay. It's been already 19 minutes that we're playing. Interesting. Okay, shield-wise. Let's see. Well, protection-wise. Huh. Yeah, we change the music here and there. Oh, please! You must rescue the princess! Okay, white magic, let's see. Definitely one white magic that I want straight off the bat. Anything of your liking? Cure. I want cure for sure. And. DI is not that interesting as a, as a thing, generally. I'm gonna have Sat have Protect. Alright. 
I'm gonna start to be the white mage now. Okay, it's a black mage. I'm gonna do fire. Uh, I'm gonna have a sad half thunder. Actually, there's more more gears that I thought there would be. Maybe it's because I already did some battle here and there. Okay, let's see what I say. Saj, Lucan said something about finding the crescent moon. Then he just up and left town. So Saj Lucan, Sage Lucan will be somebody important. The king truly believed in Lucan's prophecy that the warriors of light will come to save the princess. And that's what we're gonna do by the end of this uh, video, I hope. Please ring a Swiss girl in Dinsara! Okay, I should hurry up because we already... Okay, so there's a church. And the church is where you can save your characters that are um, unconscious slash dead. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I won't live far to the east of here in the harbor city of Provoca. These days, I heard it's turned into a, pi a pi pirate's den. Okay. Items. I'm gonna pick up two potions just to be safe. Ooh, everything is expensive. Oh, sleeping bags are not that expensive, but they don't do as good as tent or cottage. Okay. I cannot run in the world map. Oh, crazy. Oh, we have a preemptive strike, which is good. Oh, it's funny because I got my uh, level up, but you can see that my character did not um, did not get any. All the HP that they earned and all that, they ju just didn't get it. So I will be obliged to go sleep at the at the inn. Wow, I'm lucky. Preemptive track again. So one thing that you should know on the original is that if you attacked an enemy. Like, like I just did here with the four characters, I attack the same enemy. My characters will probably miss their attack. Meaning that the first ones that kill somebody block other people to attack anybody else, which is a bit silly. I'm glad that we didn't put that in this one. I guess I can. No, I cannot go to the castle for this side. I'm obliged to go for the other side. I think we make the game still a bit... Oh, no, because she didn't beat him. Okay. I thought that we made the game a little bit easier, but I don't... In the end, maybe not. <laughs> okay, level up. Jeez, the black match is not very good in uh, in the HP that he has. Alright. How many, uh, okay, I have 46 experience, and next level is in 52. 
Okay. Let's go a little bit higher. So, that Final Fantasy, the first one, does not have like any chocobos or, or moogles or anything. This one just have the notion of the four crystals. So, the crystal of fire, the crystal of water, the crystal of earth, and water, fire, earth, and wind. <laughs> I think the, the, the style looks really cool. Okay, this is the Chaos Shrine. I'm not gonna go in right now because I think that if I go now, I'll probably get killed easily. Oh, I'm surprised. That's a different design, the background. I, I feel that the game is pretty, it's pretty cute, actually. I'm really surprised. I think that we did a great job. Even though they reuse basically the style that could have been on the first, on the real first version of a game, you can especially see it because of the warrior. I still think the score. It goes faster. I don't necessarily need to use like the auto battle, which I don't remember anyway how to use it. What did they say to use auto battle? Okay, no. Uh, X. Okay, let's see if it works. Let's try it. Okay. Preempty strike, yeah. I have to check if I have a frame issue because I don't know if I'm gonna see it in the videos that I'm doing right now but I can see a line coming up little by little from time to time all right it's time to oh cool level up perfect that's what I wanted to have Jeez, the black mage is the worst. Ah, oh, the, the black mage. The, the red mage is the worst. <laughs> okay, let's use cure. So you see here I can use cure three out of four time on me. And not just two. Oh, I wanted to talk also about... Uh, Brental flowers. I don't know if you know who that is, but he, he used to be like a, a singer on YouTube that loved to take video game song and put music and put lyrics on it. He did one that is named The Battle of the Magis, which I think is hilarious and greatly done. I really think that it was a great song and I think it takes partially of of Corn Cornelia, the, the music from the castle. I think it takes also the music from... Do, 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 do. So there, there is a moment in the, in the game you're gonna see like a... Ah shoot, I forgot her name. It doesn't come to my mind, but you see like a... A powerful mage or like a, a sorcerer. I'm gonna put that on, on him for sure because the, the red mage has so few HP that you need to have better protection, I think. Okay. It's been 30 minutes we're playing. Okay, I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster because I want to make sure that 
we finish at least the first. At least the first. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna pick that up too. The first level of the game. All right. I better um, go sleep again because so like that I have all my characters at a hundred percent of their HP. Assuming we're not falling into a battle, and let's get going. Oh. Hmm. Let's do a quick save. Awesome, I may have no battery left on my controller. <laughs> what a bad luck. Anyway, you can see the drill, right? That is the first Final Fantasy. To be honest, the story is not really any story. You will see that Garland is very important because... He actually... Okay, let's see if I can pick up some of the... ...treasures around before I go... ...fight. Oh no, I'm ambushed, we're gonna attack me. Oh, fudge. Oh, jeez. He has a lot of HPs. Dang it. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh no! Okay. That's not good. I already lost one character. <laughs> I can see that the difficulty goes up very easily once you. Let's get out. And I hate that because now my characters will not be able to go to the same level at the same time, but... okay. Sorry, Black Mage. Jeez, they attack me very strongly right now. It's funny how the game suddenly changed once you, <laughs> once you go to the first dungeon. Ah, we already got a level. Oh well. Sorry, Black Mage. Alright, in order to save a Black Mage, unfortunately, I cannot even go to the inn, because if I do that, actually, we'll still be down. So I need to go to the ch church to resurrect him. Alright. That is the only Final Fantasy that has that. I don't think... As soon as Final Fantasy 2, they remove that, I think. Coming back to Britain's floss, <laughs> Brentos floss song. It's all about the red. It's well, it's kind of all about the, the free mages, as I said, and it makes fun mostly of the red mage because he's the one that cannot do anything. So as you can see, he's so weak. Ah, uh, it annoys me, but I think what I have to do. It's probably better for me to see if I can get my black mage to actually level up. 
since he's the only one that did not level up yet. And then after that... Oh no. Uh, uh, that'll take too much time. I'm gonna actually go buy some item. Move! Alright. I'm gonna buy... Ah, uh, sleeping bag does only HP. Uh, okay, we're gonna buy two of that. One of that. Now we're gonna sleep again. I'm using a lot of money. <laughs> I don't like doing that. <laughs> anyway. You can see that that game has a difficulty curve that goes pretty high very quickly, but then the game comes back to not be as difficult close to the end, or at least from what I I did when I played the, the version on Windows Phone. Now, that being said, the old version may be much much harder than that. I remember that on Origins, I had to train my character a little bit more when for the first crystal or the second crystal? I don't even remember. You know what? What are we gonna do is that we're just gonna go directly to Garland. Well, assuming that I can. <laughs> okay, that black queen. So here's Garland and here's a princess. Okay, let's try that. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. Who's there? Hmm. The king's lap dogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross words with me? Very well. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Ah, they kept the boss theme. So there's no boss theme on the original game. They added that as soon as Origins, if I remember properly. Alright. Oh, fire is very good against him. Okay, I can do it for time. Ah, uh, let's wait a little bit, maybe. So far we're still good. Let's continue. Yes, I beat him! But the Karo Shrine has a lot of great equipment. But as you can see, the, the enemies are harder than the boss. <laughs> okay. Alright. Cordelia. Oh, not Cordelia. Sarah. You, you've you come to rescue me? I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Words could never be enough to thank you. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please, accompany me to Castle Cornelia. You can see that there's an orb here. That orb will be extremely important for the story. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the warriors of light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety, ahem, if I may. When darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. 
The four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to, the nor uh, to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of freeing the world of the monster, of, fright of reading the world of the monster which plague it. I will have a bridge to the north rebuilt, as promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. And here we are, the beginning of the game. Sarah, this loot has been entrusted to the princess of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Gallant took his, this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you on your journey. It will for the health. We obtain the loot! <laughs> if you wanted, you could. I mean, here in Cornelia. No, no, it's nothing. You should make preparation for your journey. Restore light to the crystals. Sarah's thoughts are always with you. The dancing girl didn't know. Oh, okay, we don't care about what he said because we already know. The, the warriors of light, I can't thank you enough for saving Lady Sarah. Oops, I didn't want to get out, but let's see. What would he say? Nope, nothing interesting. Okay. Oh, let's see if the mother will say something. I don't know how I could ever thank you for rescuing Sarah. <gasps> All right. Give me one quick minute. Alright, let's get going. And here we are, we'll see the, be uh, the bridge being rebuilt. So that little animation, I don't remember if it did it. it's available on the NES version. Orders from His Majesty. We are to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. But the next one, the next part will definitely be there because that's where you will hear for the first time the prologue of Final Fantasy. Which is the famous, the other famous music apart from the prelude of Final Fantasy or the fanfare of Final Fantasy. Alright, let's go to the bridge. And that's where we're gonna stop after the bridge. La 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 And so their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destined had placed so de destiny had placed upon before them. They did not even know their true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once long ago held the lights that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. Ba ba la 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 
Ah, Final Fantasy! It's one of my favorite franchise, for those who don't know. And it's particularly because of Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VI. If I play video games, it's probably thanks to Final Fantasy, to be fairly honest with you. So that is why for me it's such an important game. And here we are, first achievement, a, a hero's journey. Ah, this music is fantastic, I love it. Alright, that's here, that, that, that's the end of our journey today on the first Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered. I'm probably gonna do each of them one by one, one after another, because it's been so long I wanted to play all Final Fantasies in a row and talk about them. They are within my favorite games and I really want to make sure that you know that and I hope that I brought enough knowledge about it. I don't think I did that great in this particular video. <laughs> But I tried. I tried my best and I hope that it's still appreciated somehow. Alright, thank you everybody. I hope you had a great time on Tasha's show and hopefully I see you soon. Bye bye!